All right, guys, my name is Shervin. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to take a look at all the no fee credit cards offered by BMO and discuss which ones are actually worth having. Now, I've previously made a number of videos about every other major bank in Canada and all the no fee credit cards that they're offering. And now, last but not least, it's time to take a look at BMO. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a shorter video since BMO only has three no fee credit cards. But if you watch to the end, you're going to find out exactly what each of these cards offer, how they compare against other cards available in the market, and as well as that, which ones are actually going to be worth having for you. But before we get into it, if you're new to my channel and you enjoy this video, make sure to smash the subscribe button down below and join the community. I make new videos about personal finance and investing on a regular basis. And by subscribing to the channel, you get to see all the new videos right as they come out. Also, if you enjoy the video and want to support me even more, then go ahead and smash the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. But all right, with all that said, let's get into our first credit card, which is the BMO Cashback MasterCard. Now, I've previously talked about this card in another video of mine about the five credit cards that every Canadian must own. So you can probably already guess this card is awesome. Now, with this credit card, you get 3% cash back on groceries and then 1% or less on everything else. Now, the 3% rate on groceries is actually the highest rate out of any no fee credit card available across the country. So this is by far the best credit card for grocery shopping. Now, it is true that 1% or less on every other category is quite poor, but that's okay because you don't have to use this card on everything. In fact, my recommendation is that if you get this card, only use it when you go grocery shopping and just use other cards for other things. Now, this card also comes with a pretty sweet sign-up bonus of 5% cash back on groceries for the first three months of your usage, which again means that you can earn even more cash back from your grocery shopping, again, all for no annual fee whatsoever. Now, there's one thing that I have to caution you before we move on, and that is that if you shop at Walmart, just be aware that Walmart doesn't count as a grocery store. Now, I don't really know what the reason behind this is, but pretty much every credit card counts Walmart as a discount store, not a grocery store, which means that whatever cashback rate they're offering on grocery shopping would not apply to your purchases at Walmart. In fact, the only credit card in Canada that counts Walmart as a grocery store is the Tangerine Moneyback card. So if you're someone who only shops at Walmart and nowhere else, then just be aware of that. Maybe you want to go with the Tangerine card instead of the BMO card. Now, the Tangerine card only offers 2% back on groceries, but at least it would count towards Walmart if that's the only place you go for grocery shopping. But for everyone else, this is a must own card and you should always have it in your wallet for any time you go grocery shopping. Now, next up, we have the BMO Air Miles MasterCard. Now, as the name suggests, this card helps you collect air miles that you can then redeem for travel. Now, with this credit card, you get one mile for every $25 spent or three miles for every $25 spent on air miles partners. Now, each air mile is worth approximately 12 and a half cents when redeeming towards travel, which means that this is equivalent to getting 1.5% cash back at air miles partners or 0.5% cash back anywhere else. Now, given that there are cards like the American Express Simply Cash Card, which despite having no fee, offer you 1.25% cash back on everything, it just doesn't seem like a good idea to go get this card instead. So even if you are someone who's collecting air miles, I just don't think there is enough value to be had here for you to go out there and get this card. So unless BMO decides to up the amount of miles they're giving you per dollar spent, I would just stay away from this card. Now, last but not least, we have the BMO Rewards MasterCard. Now, this card gives you one BMO rewards point for every dollar you spend on anything. And as well as that, you also get 25% off of your car rentals. Now, each BMO rewards point is worth less than one cent, which means that with this card, you're getting less than 1% cash back. Again, this is very low. And there are other cards like the American Express Simply Cash Card that give you 1.25% back on everything despite having no fee. And as far as the car rental discount goes, I mean, if that's something that's important for you, Great, go for it. But I think for most people, that's just nowhere near enough to convince you to get this card. So all in all, I would say this is another disappointing card and I would just stay away from this one too. So to quickly recap, the BMO Cashback MasterCard is by far the best choice out of these three. It's not even close. That's the only one that is offering you competitive cashback rates and is actually worth having. And I would say, again, unless you're someone who only shops at Walmart, Every Canadian should own that card because you cannot get higher cashback rates on groceries from any other no fee credit card. So make sure you have that card. Make sure you always get 3% back on your grocery purchases and just stay away from the other two. 
All right, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Now make sure you're following me on Instagram. I post there regularly. So if you want to be a part of it, make sure you're following me there. And as always, if you have any questions about any of the stuff that we talked about in this video, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. I always respond to every single question that comes in. And now with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.